Greetings everyone. Spain is looking into migrants to drive its economy. But before we talk about Spain as it seeks to drive its economy through welcoming migrants, the South African Department of Home Affairs was in Parliament on Tuesday where it says that uh, the department is to clamp down on fraud and corruption, which is said to be done by foreign nationals. Uh, in an article here, uh, let me read what it says. The Home Affairs Department says it's on a major clamp down on fraud and corruption, particularly by foreign nationals attempting to stay in the country. On Tuesday, the department told the Parliamentary's Portfolio Committee that a multi disciplinary committee is unearthing the extent of the rot and ensuring officials face the consequences. A list of dozen refer referrals have been made to the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation and the Special Investigation Unit. Uh, then it says uh, at least a fifth of uh, 51,000 visa applications initially rejected on suspicion on fraud were subsequently approved. So your visa might have been rejected because it was suspected that uh, there, was, there was fraud involved in the application. <clears throat> so you might want to, uh, if you have appealed, it might uh, uh, be approved uh, because they are busy investigating uh, such visas according to this attack. It says over 3,000 study visas have been converted to critical schemes visas under directive by former minister Marius Kikaba before studies have, have even been completed. You'll remember that uh, when uh, Comrade Marius Kikaba was a uh, minister of home affairs had said that uh, those uh, uh, studying towards the uh, critical skills they will need they need to be granted a permanent residence so that uh, they do not get trained in south african universities then uh, move out and work elsewhere because of documentation challenges but of course that was then reversed by minister dr aaron um, Tualeti, uh, uh, who said um, that was not proper to do. Uh, so if your application for a visa was rejected, make a follow-up, you might be lucky uh, through uh, an appeal. Uh, it might be granted. Then our main story is that uh, Spain uh, is welcoming migrants. It sees migrants playing a key role in the development of its economy. Spain has an aging population uh, who are not able to work uh, in industries, in the construction and other sectors that require manpower. So they rely uh, on young people from the African continent. Uh, it says, the article from PPC says, uh, the country's economic needs construct with ordinary Spaniards' perception of immigration a new poll shows that 41% of people are very worried by the phenomenon, making it their fifth biggest concern after inflation, housing inequality, and uh, unemployment. Uh, but uh, the left-wing Spanish government has also made the economic case for immigrants, with Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez describing them as representing He's got a saying wealth, development, and prosperity uh, for his country while on a recent tour of Mauritania, Gambia, and the Senegal. So it's a debate that, that is ongoing in Spain where the government sees <coughs> the arrival of migrants as a part of contributing in driving uh, the economy. Uh, as I've said, uh, uh, in sectors where manpower is needed, like in construction industries, but uh, of course, others, yes, other citizens see, see it differently. But it's an interesting development uh, that uh, the political leadership in Spain uh, 
recognizes the contributions that uh, is made by migrants, but we hope that the trade unions in Spain will ensure that uh, the migrants that are employed to work in these sectors are not exploited. We hope that is Spain is not looking for cheap labor from the African continent, uh, get young people to work in their industries, particularly the construction, but uh, pay them a slave wage. We hope that uh, the unions in Spain will represent these workers so that uh, they are paid what is due to them. It's an interesting discussion. Please write in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, goodbye.